I'm talking with Lawrence Mitchell at Life Beyond Labels about communication and why for much of his life Lawrence hasn't found it easy to communicate. When I was born, I was born different. I had a good genital malformation of the bones of my arms. Uh, as I grew up in my, uh, my early teens, they caused great problems and... Uh, and it was only through a vegan diet and a visit to an osteopath that, that helped alleviate the symptoms. But that wasn't the real tragedy. The tragedy was I missed out on lots of things at school, two years of school at a time where I needed to learn like things like sex education and, and, and other things that a teacher might need to see. And because my parents knew I was different and they didn't know how to tell me, and perhaps they were embarrassed, perhaps they, they really, really didn't know how or didn't really want me to know how because they wanted me to grow up as a normal child, whatever normality is. But again, this just progressed through my life with the various difficulties that I had in communication. And it was, even when I was diagnosed at 48, I still wasn't aware of the communication barriers the communication challenges, you know, I didn't realise I had to completely relearn how to communicate. Uh, I didn't really, there was so much I wasn't aware of that, but of course I'm aware of today. So briefly, how have you been able to deal with this and uh, this whole communication thing? I think it's through an immense amount of personal development. I can remember when I got diagnosed, I was told I had to go to school. Um, uh, I can't remember the name of, of the place. And I went for about six months where they taught me uh, what it's like being having Asperger's syndrome and what I had to watch out for. They gave me various exercises, etc. And once I'd completed the course, they said, Lawrence, you know, you can now go out into the world and be like um, everyone else. And of course, it didn't work out mm -hmm. like that. And I, I think one, one of the things you've got to consider is I went through a life not knowing that, I, that my brain was wired differently. I didn't know that in a uh, marriage uh, if, that I wasn't being sensitive to my partner's needs, my children's needs. For me, if they laughed at something, I thought it was funny and I thought it was something that they were enjoying. When my, my I can remember uh, there was one particular <laughs> incident, and of course I know that my wife was absolutely deplored that she wasn't there, but it happened when my one of my children, my son, was five years old. We went to McDonald's and I thought it was, and he threw a chip and I laughed. So he thought it was okay for him to throw another one. And then I threw one back at him. We were having a game of throwing. Chips. So you actually were behaving childishly. But I didn't know. I thought it was fun. I just thought it was just normal. And do you find that now that you've worked for some long time at your communication skills, do you find not only is it easier for you to communicate with people, but do you find other people accept you and communicate with you more easily now? Very, very much so. And I can see why I wasn't able to communicate I can see all the differences and I can explain to others all about this.